Riverside, 1963. The sixth annual Times Grand Prix features a world-class field of cars and drivers. Californian Dave McDonald is one of the hot prospects on the growing Shelby American team and will drive the number 98 Cooper Ford. Local favorite Dan Gurney will drive a Lotus. Indy winner A.J. Foyt will be in a Scarab. Teammates Parnelli Jones and Jimmy Clark arrive for practice at the same time. The Hollywood crowd always seemed to be a part of the scenery like luscious Jade Mansfield. Steve McQueen looks at home in a race car. Then starlet Jill St. John was married to Scarab builder and driver Lance Reventlow. Texan John Meekham has an impressive team that includes Roger Penske in the Xerox Special, Augie Pabst in a Lotus, and A.J. Foyt in a Scarab. Foyt could be a real threat in this top car. Lloyd Ruby checks the tire pressure on his Harrison Special. 1963 Indy 500 winner Parnelli Jones has road race stock cars at Riverside, but sports cars represent a brand new challenge. Billy Krause, 1960 Riverside winner. Roger Ward, soon to be a two-time Indy 500 winner, and teammates Bob Holbert and Dave McDonald watch as the Shelby crew does their final tuning. There's one last practice session before the big race. The Shelby team has two cars entered in the Grand Prix and three Cobras entered in the Gran Turismo race. It takes a big crew and a lot of teamwork to field as many race cars. and the drivers head for their cars and prepare for the start of the 200-mile event. Jim Hall has the pole position. Dave McDonald and teammate Bob Holbert share the front row. We're just seconds from the start. 31 cars come to life and roar into turn one. Hall takes the lead. Trouble in turn two as several cars go off the course. Hall shows the way through turn six in his chaparral. The field is closely bunched going through turn seven. Paul leads McDonald, Holbert and Penske. Leaders flash by the pits. Hall shows his stuff as over 82,000 fans watch him set a record pace. Chaparral still leads, and McDonald presses in second. Paul, McDonald, and Holbert fly down the back stretch. Shelby says, get him, McDonald. 
and get him he does as Hall and his chaparral slow to a stop in turn two with electrical problems. McDonald's King Cobra leads through six. Penske has taken over second place. McDonald in a full four-wheel drift. Edward Mackey crashes in turn six. A.J. Foyd manhandles an ill-handling scarab through turn seven. McDonald is setting a sizzling pace. The sun-baked crowd is enjoying the fast-paced competition between McDonald and Penske. Dykes has his hands full with his Maserati. The King Cobra is performing perfectly. Penske pushes his Zurich special to the limit. McDonald hasn't let up a bit since the start of the race. The Times Grand Prix will see a new track record if McDonald's car holds up. Dave gets a little out of shape in turn six. Chuck Parson tries a shortcut. Fifty-nine Indy winner Roger Ward is out for the day. Art Snyder spins his Elva in turn seven. Gurney and Hanskin are out. Augie Pabst has a serious problem in turn seven. McDonald drives through turn nine as he's clocked by Bob Holbert, who retired with overheating problems. Dave has now lapped everyone but Penske in second. John Surtees is running fourth. Jimmy Clark leads in the under two liter class and lies fifth overall. McDonald demonstrates his dirt track style. Penske is still second. Pedro Rodriguez is running third. John Surtees powers his Ferrari through turn seven in fourth place. Augie Pabst is through for the day. It's been a long, hot day for Bob Bondurant running his production Cobra against the sports cars. Bondurant gets a quick tire change and heads back to the race in eighth place. Bob Holbert gives information to McDonald's pit board man. Dave ran over 500 laps of tire testing three weeks prior to this race, and it's really paying off. Penske hangs on to second. 
Miles Gupton gets out in the dirt with his Porsche. McDonald takes the checkered flag to win the 1963 Times Grand Prix after lapping the entire field. How sweet it is.